Juicy, juicy QDX. Hello, people. How we doing today? So, anyway, I'm putting in my water line. And I decided to trip my predator line because it uh, it's really starting to slow down. So, anyway, as I was tripping my traps, uh, I see where a bobcat worked one of my sets, and I did not catch him. He was... Uh, the edge of his paw was about a quarter inch from the pan, so. Okay. Let's go ahead and snap them all off. So. Uh, anyway, let me show you what I'm looking at. So we got all these cedar trees and everything. It just looks like a catty looking place. And it looks real catty. Hello. So this set's been here for a good little bit, and this is a cat-specific place. I did have uh, my little flags and woolly birds and feathers and all that, and we finally connected. So I'm going to take him, get him took care of, and we'll take a look at him here in a second. So I'll go ahead and walk a little closer, uh, see how good he's caught. So this is Bobcat number three. He does look like he's caught pretty good. Yeah. And he's a growling. Fairly spotted up cat. Still not a great big one I'm after, but it's a cat and we'll call it good. I'm gonna get him out of here and off to the next one. Alright, people. Well, crap. I've just been talking to myself for the last probably five, ten minutes, and I didn't hit the record button. I have a bad habit about doing that. So, anyway, let's pull up here. Let me spin you around. And we got another Yodi. That's 11 off this property and 12 all together. Pretty coyote. Cool. Uh, sounds like you like to do some talking. Got her zinged in a little too much. Good bad bitch. Uh, I believe that's a number four Duke. So anyway, let's zoom in right here. So that little chunk of bone there is what's left of the deer leg I buried. Uh, now I got that idea from Clint Locklear. Uh, I believe giving credit where credit's due, he was talking about an old boy that uh, would bury a deer leg and set a trap on either side of it. That is my second coyote off this particular set. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> God damn it. So anyway, I do believe giving credit where credit's due. Uh, Clint Locklear is one hell of a trapper. Uh, I hear he's not trapping as much right now, not making videos, which I'm going to miss because, like I say, he's a hell of a trapper and uh, good content and got a lot of humor in his videos. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Ed Snyder. Ed Snyder's the one that. Uh, in his video in the bean field you just pile up a bunch of soybean rubble or duff put a little urine on it and a trap by it i've caught a coyote that way uh i caught a couple coyotes in his rj sets uh, deep trench sets these boys know what they're doing and they will put the content out there to help fellow trappers and that's freaking awesome <coughs> 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 God damn cough. So anyway, Dale Billingsley, his uh, fish steak sets. And I've used fish steak sets held back when I was a kid. But I've never ever put uh, Bobcat Glan lure on it. And I do 100% believe that is why I pulled a double on otters this year. Uh, 
very neat idea. There again, he shares it out there for all the trappers. Uh, and I want to be doing some more of that also. Uh, no Name Trapper, I got to mention him. He's got good content. Uh, very good content. Down to Earth guy. Keep it simple. Make it work. Uh, Coon Creek Outdoors. There's another one. That guy's been doing this, I think, 10 or 12 years now. And he's still putting videos out. Uh, trying to help people and the younger generation of uh, how to trap and he don't tell you what to do and what not to do but he gives you guidelines and let you learn on your own too so that's awesome he goes all across the country well, I don't know about all across, across the country but I know he does quite a bit of traveling and uh, he'll set up a one day line and he'll give people traps and stuff that's awesome uh, Trapper Jay, he's another one. Uh, he gets out there. He'll show you how to make the set, how to make several different kinds of sets. That boy's on fire right now for, uh, especially on the spotted cats. My God, I haven't caught a spotted cat like that at all. Start to catch a few cats, but nothing like what he's got. Uh, Iowa Trapper, next gen. Them boys, uh, they kill it on a freaking coon. I think uh, next gen's over 2,000 coon already for the year. Uh, I think Iowa Trapper's over 1,200. Them boys share content of how to do it, uh, especially Iowa Trapper. He is super, super involved in uh, helping out the younger trappers. So uh, these guys I mentioned, you can get on their uh, YouTube channels. There is a world of content on there. So, all right, boys. Uh, we'll take one more peek at this coyote just because I love coyotes. What? Oh! You're like, what the fuck is that? You ain't no coyote.